come back to make a turn. So I made the day of walking me through out of the door of a shop and my sister. And before we do that, the particular stuff we are going to install, which is in the same way. Now, the reason why I want to install this software is for us to be able to extract any file that is compressed while we are damaging them. Now, for example, this Photoshop is compressed. So, um, you having this setup, right? You might not be able to see it like me, based on you have not, not installed in RAS. So, so, how do you install in RAS? The moment you download in RAS, right? And you have something like this in the setup, let me stop the place from this. Actually, go on with the installation. Now, this is great. All this will be checked. But basically, all you need is the RA out and the zip itself. These are the most common file that people use to compress the file, that project, that folder, any kind of thing that is heavy, right? You need to compress it so you can easily be sent. So very simple. If you want to want to install the other uh, kind of file format, this is the way to do that. So now after that, yeah, just have to you know if you want to have in that your desktop is there, check it, right? Add the windows to your start menu, okay? Check it. For all these things, it doesn't really matter because you won't be using them like that. Just the moment you add it to the system, automatically all your complex file takes the effect of Windows and can deal with it. So the moment you do that, just press OK. So, you can go to install, and you can see where has successfully got to this folder. Right, so definitely yours will be installed in the short part. The reason why this jumps here straight is because I've already installed WinRap on my laptop. Okay, so once I'm done with that, that's it. Yeah, so once I'm done with that, I want to now extract my Photoshop. So I right, click here, I'm able to see this kind of extract file extract here extract to now you want to extract to this particular folder right so even because some files might not be in the folder you might just you know be spread out so you might say extract where all the files just pop out but you want to put them in the folder so you don't just throw everything out there and start looking for a particular file you know, mixed up with your existing file. So, I do this a lot. So, extract it. So, now, yeah, I have the password. Copy the one, two, three. So, here. You can see it's happening, and now you can see a folder here. Right. Let's wait a while. Okay, now we have it. So here, yeah, let's just access the folder. Click on it, and here I have the setup. So I'll just need to stop setup. Yeah. Okay, so this is Photoshop. 2021. Right. Same thing happens to all version like 2022, 2023, so it doesn't feel like this is how it looks like I mean, the process. Okay. So the language you want to use doesn't be English if you are not in our country. And as well, the location, default location, the specific program. Folder on your habit. So, 
to just continue I can see the new resolution and the following test is going to get to the next time Okay, so now we have Photoshop 2021 installed it. So now if I go straight down to my window, where I can see Adobe Photoshop 2021. So, so here are the Adobe installed it already, but the purpose is from Photoshop Cloud. So fine. For now, before we end this video, right? There's a particular thing that you need to know about your system. So, to know whether it's suitable for this setup. Okay? Just go to this PC, if your PC, right? You don't want it to come like this. This PC will just right away from me. Then go to property. Here, you get to see the specification of your laptop all right basically what i'm here to tell you guys is about this public operating system it has to be to the public if not such setup might not be successful all right the ram doesn't matter the ram as long as the ram starts from 4 gig right it's good my doesn't change anything just that the speed rights it's it matters properly installation definitely has to all you need to just know is that the system has to be copied okay then you have to do the presentation of work so that's all and i hope this helps you a lot if so don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Thank you.